Hey going on. This is going to be a different vid com compared to others that I do. So, in life, you know, we all want to show our fellow human beings love and compassion. And we want to get peace with our past and peace with others. You know, we never want to leave like a, um, anything bad in our mouths. We want to be positive in life and think about, hey, everything happens for a reason. Everything does happen for a reason. I'm thinking I should have started this with a chair. <laughs> Hang on. Um, oh, Sorry about that. Now, I've made videos before about this topic and I'll link them in the um, video after this because this will be uploaded to YouTube, but life is full of changes. Life, how you going, beautiful? Hope you're having a lovely day. Love is a beautiful thing when you experience love. It can be definitely an emotional roller coaster. It can be something we want. And then sometimes we don't want it because loving someone so much, it can hurt you, especially if they do wrong by us. Love you too. I think as humans, we should love more people and love each other more and be supportive of others. You know, we live in a world where people judge people by their skin color. People judge people by, you know, what's on the outside. And, you know, if a, if a man wants to dress up as a woman or a woman wants to dress up as a man, it's wrong, apparently. Um, you know, people are totally against transgender people. People are against homo... People are, like, just homophobic. And we live in a world like that right now. You know, and... Why do we have to live in a world where people are judging others or only being with people because it benefits them in some way? But why not go into a relationship because you want to be with that person and you want to be with that person for the rest of your life? Not just because of what they have or what they look like or what they can provide. You want someone in a relationship that will put you first, will be honest and faithful and... If you do fall out of love for someone, then let them go. Because you have a right to love whoever you want, and you have a right to be loved the way you want to be loved. Unfortunately, with the world right now, it's all about violence. It's all about, you know, killing people and destroying people. And I don't like that. I, I think that a lot of things can be resolved just by talking it out peacefully and I think that at the end of the day life's too short to hold grudges you know we should all about be about love and peace we should all be about positivity you know we can be loved we can have a future you've just got to gamble on it I, I noticed and I'll tell you a little story and I don't know if I should say this but I'm going to say it I experienced love twice only in my life. My first love when I was at 19 and the love of my life of six years. They taught me a lot about how to love, how to be a man, how to be respectful. And without those two people in my life, I wouldn't be the human being I am today. It was a tragedy three years ago that I lost my partner because of my actions and what I did. And I can hate myself every day, but it's not going to change anything. I'm just glad she's found someone that treats her right. And that's all I care about at the end of the day. Like that's was someone that was a good part of my life. I believe love can be so painful sometimes because when you really love someone, you just want to see them happy. And unfortunately, a lot of people say they love us, but they don't really love us. They'll only say it to humor us or get down our pants. 
You know when guys say, oh, I love you, you're so beautiful. And most of them are only just saying that because they want to get their dick wet. But whenever I speak from my heart, it comes. It's just the love in my heart. It's too big for me to just keep in there. I want to share my my love for everybody. That's why I have a big heart. I'm not going to change who I am. I'm always going to be a bit of an asshole. I'm always going to be controversial. I'm always going to be one that tells what's on my mind and I'll always speak the truth. Hey, like I said, I have a crush on a few people and they don't even live here. But I'm willing to give anyone a chance if they're going to give me a chance. At the end of the day, my beautiful heart, somebody will own one day. Doesn't matter if they're from America, England, Melbourne, Sydney, Brisbane. It could be anybody. You can take my heart away from me. Because when they take my heart away from me, I'm taking theirs in return. And I'll be like Aladdin and Princess Jasmine, you know, I'll get the magic carpet and I'll fucking fly them around the world. So they can be a real life princess. Because at the end of the day, every woman should be treated like a queen. Every woman should be treated with respect. And, and, and you know, it doesn't matter at the end of the day what they look like. I think too many people judge people these days based on looks. I know that I'm getting old. I ain't getting any younger. And I know in time I will lose my looks. I look great right now, but I will lose my looks. And I would hope that people would want me for my heart. Because if they want me for my dick, then they're going to be very disappointed. <laughs> Poor little guy down there. But in life, you know, like I've said in previous vids, you know, there are roads that come and there's paths that we've got to go down. What path you choose is up to you at the end of If you're in a relationship and you know that it's just not meant to be, get out. Get out while you can. If you don't think that your partner is really the guy for you, let him go. You have time to move on. You have time to start a future and build a foundation again. You're never too old for love. You're never too old. And I think that a lot of women that have been hurt have this massive wall. And you can't go through the wall. You can't break it. Because they're afraid to be loved. They're afraid to be hurt. And that's okay because we're all afraid of being hurt. And we're all afraid of falling in love. Because love simply just gets us in trouble at the end of the day. And I can speak from experience on that one. But be yourself. Be yourself at the end of the day. As I'm going to promote in every single vid, don't hide behind a mask. Don't hide behind a mask. Because the day when that person that you like or love reveals that mask and he sees what's behind it, he may not like what he sees behind it. And I think that's what people seem to forget that if we pretend to be someone we're not, where's that going to end up? Where's that going to end up? Probably with a broken heart. And on that subject of that beautiful person in my life of six years that I had, she literally, and I've said this in countless vids, treated me like an absolute king. You know, she would, she would literally be at my sick bed if I was sick. You know, be by my side when good times are bad. You know, it's the little things like, you know, coming back from the servo and getting a, getting me a, like a pie and a sausage roll and a couple of energy drinks, you know, and just the random niceness of, um, you know, cause she used to work in an op shop and, um, she used to bring me back so many like jerseys, like soccer jerseys. And she used to, you know, bring me back Pokemon stuff. What an amazing woman. What an amazing woman. And not a day goes by where I don't think about what could have been. But 
you know, future, I've got to concentrate. I've got to concentrate on the future. I've got to not worry about the past. Even though there's dickheads on my Facebook that say, oh, but, you know, you'll never get over her, blah, 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 blah. And it's like, that person was a good part of my life. You know, how, how am I supposed to get over someone that meant so much to me? I mean, she's moved on and I've... I've, I've moved on since then. I've had other girls. I've slept with a lot of other girls. <laughs> but... At the end of the day, I'm still trying to find that, you know, missing piece of the puzzle. I'm still trying to find that, that one person that I can just settle down with and just, you know, spend the rest of my life with. I know that behind the scenes, everybody knows that I'm successful. Everybody knows that, you know, I don't need money to make me happy. Just putting on a, you know, a wrestling game or, or Pokemon or watching wrestling or Doing my own thing. Oh, I am so tired. <laughs> At the end of the day, I'll tell you a little story. Remember story time with Andre? Baby. Baby. Um, or baby. I know very well that on my Facebook, there is only four to five people I'd want in my life for the rest of my life. The rest can all get fucked. The rest can all go to hell with their fakeness and their lies and, you know, them trying to manipulate me, to change me. Like, believe me, there are there is a lot on my Facebook that I'm like, oh, fuck off, you know. I don't need that shit. I don't need your fakeness. I don't need you telling me, oh, you're, you're so handsome, you're so beautiful. If I was single, I would be with you. And then the ones that say that when they're single, it's like, yeah, well, you're saying that and you're single, so why aren't you with me? Like, why aren't you, you know, if I'm that great in your eyes, if I'm this good looking person and got a great positive attitude in, on life, why aren't you with me? You're the one that says that, you know, I shouldn't be single, but then you don't do anything about it. I call horse shit on that one. <clears throat> because there are people almost on a day-to-day -day basis that are single, that say to me, oh, yeah, you're a great bloke, you know, and they say everything to butter me up. But they don't do anything about it. It's all that they're cock-teasing, they're picky, or they themselves don't know what they want in life. And it does hurt. I'm not lying. You can see the tears that, that are in my eyes right now. It hurts when... You know, when you're hated, everybody hates you. But when you're this nice guy and nobody likes you, it's like, well, what can you do? You can't win either way. <clears throat> there are two people in a relationship right now that I would like to be with. But it's never going to happen. There are a few people that are single. Here, here where I live. But it's not going to happen. <clears throat> and to me, it's just like... <clears throat> it's their loss at the end of the day. And... They can play all the games they want and flirt all they want. But I'm not buying it. I wasn't born yesterday. I've been hurt. Very badly. And people would say that I should not never be in a relationship ever again. Because I'm not ready, they say. People that say that I'm not ready, I say, go fuck yourself. Because you can't tell me what I can and can't do. I say to those people, if I knew I wasn't ready, then I wouldn't go out and meet randoms. I wouldn't go out and make a chance, take a chance. I don't know the answer to this question, but... People ask me all the time, how do you know if you're ready? How do you know if you're ready for a relationship? How do you know that <clears throat> you can try start again? Well, that's easy. You're ready the moment you break up with someone. You're ready when you feel something for someone. 
That's how you know you're ready. Yes. You're scared you'll get hurt. And you probably will. <laughs> we probably all will. But eventually, someone's going to come into your life and be like, I'm keeping you. Just like Casper said on in that movie, Casper said to that girl, can I keep you? He was a ghost, but you know, he, st he, st he still, you know, he became human for a little bit in that movie. But the point I'm trying to make is, if you find someone in your life, doesn't matter where they are, they make you feel happy and good about yourself and they're sweet and kind to you and you know that they could make you happy for a very long time. I say keep, I say keep them. I say don't let them out of your life. <clears throat> don't give up. Never give up on love. Never give up on people. Never give up on me. Because unfortunately in my life, so many people have given up on me. You know, I wasn't supposed to succeed in life. I've told this story many times. I was not supposed to su succeed in life. I wasn't supposed to live past 20. And I proved all the doubt is wrong. You know, at nights when I think, fuck, I've got no mortgage on the house I own. Oh, it takes my breath away. But I can even say that. It takes my breath away knowing that I've been to, you know, I've been to Melbourne, I've been to Sydney, I've been to Brisbane, you know. I, I've travelled a bit. I've done almost everything I want in life. The only two places is Italy, of course, where I belong. And believe me, if I if I had a choice, I'd probably live in Italy, Italy for the rest of my life. 100%. If my parents went around, I'd sell everything I've got, everything I've got, and start a new life in Italy, in Turan, home of my favourite soccer team, Juventus, and I'll start a new life there, because, I don't know, that's just where my heart feels like I am meant to be. My heart has never been here in Adelaide. From day one. It's just, it's, it's, I'm here because my parents are here. My family are here. But if my parents went around, fuck it, I'd just, you know, I'd do my own thing. You know? I will be in Italy one day. I'll be in England one day. I'll be in Sydney again. I'll be in Melbourne again. Hopefully before the end of this year. And I'll be in Brisbane again. <coughs> Because life's too short to just wait for someone. There are people in different states and different places around the world where I want them to be like, hey, you want me? Come get me. <clears throat> Trust me. There's a few. There's a few here in Adelaide that I would just wish would just be like, hey, I'll give you a fucking chance. It's all we ask in life. Just people to give us a chance. And have you seen, just this year alone, my looks have changed. You know? I'm not a skinny little twig. Like I used to be. <clears throat> I think the lowest I've weighed this year was, um... Around 50 kilos, just under. I'm back up to 65 now. Don't like my fat little belly. But, you know, I'm starting to fill out. Uh, female Fred friend once said to me, if you filled out a bit more, you'd be hot. Thanks. You don't find me attractive now? Oh, no, I find you attractive now, but you need to put on a bit of weight. It's like, thanks. Well, fuck you, for starters. I'll do what I want with my body. But, yes, like I said before, I don't do drugs. I don't smoke. I... I like my body, except for my fat little belly and my small dick. But and this bit, and then I get my ass kicked with this. Uh, my body feels like it's shutting down every day. To be honest, not good. Some days it's like, what's the point of getting out of bed? You know, 
And then I look at this room and I think, you know, how lucky I am. You know, someone recently came into my life just a few days ago. Beautiful young lady. I was on uh, the uh, social media at Bigo. And she came into my life. Actually, she came into my life. And at first I was like, oh, cool. A normal person. And then I was like, oh, she's pretty. Cute little smile. She has this, like, positive vibe about her. And I was like, hmm. Definitely struck by her looks, that's for sure. Then as I got to talk to her, I was like, hmm, there's some things in common. There's, you know, a lovely person under all that. (sighs) And, um, I don't know, like, what I would do if she lived here. Like, fuck, I I think I'd be taking her on dates every fucking day and trying to win her heart, you know what I'm saying? She's absolutely gorgeous, but I know I'm good enough for her. I'm good enough for anybody. But I want to, I want... Not just her, but others to be like, you want me? Come get me. Or, you know, we can try and make this work. Or, you know, something like that. Like, give me give me hope. Because every day goes past, I don't have hope for anyone just taking a chance with me. And that's what I want right now. It's just somebody to, to say, hey, look, you're a good looking bloke. I see you got a big heart. I see you nice. Let's catch up. Catch up for two days, you know? Then you you realise after the two days, there's something there. Well, there's not something there. It's just a shame that the person I was talking to lives, like, a few states over. You know, if it was like, you know, the next state over, I'd be like, hey, just drive over here for a couple of days and go back. I think it's worth exploring. I haven't told her this, but I I just, I've talked to so many people lately. Believe me, a lot of beautiful ladies I've talked to recently. This one that's just come in, it's just like, there's something about her that's very intriguing, like very interesting, that I'm kind of like, what would I do if she was here? Like, like just thinking logical, I I thought to myself, what, buy flowers? I'd... Walk her hand in hand on the beach. I love the beach walks. I would make her feel like she's number one in the world. But most importantly, 24-7 I'd be a friend. I don't think I'd ever be able to tell her this because I just don't want to sound very clingy or too strong or anything. (laughs) Andre, Andre can be a bit too strong sometimes. You ladies know that, don't you? Yeah, so I've been told. Oh, I've been told, believe me. Because ladies don't expect a guy to be this genuinely nice without wanting something in return. That's what I've been told. But I don't really give a fuck. I say it like it is, and I think that if someone's willing to give me a chance, it just bugs me because there's like, I'll tell you a little story. There's someone here in Adelaide that is single and she says she doesn't want a relationship unless it's with the guy that she has a crush on and apparently they're arguing and stuff and all bullshit. He doesn't want her obviously and she has a little spit about it and it's like, um, you do realize that there's other people out there. Why are you wasting your time with someone that is not going to pay you the attention that you want? And it just really frustrates me because, like, first she's, like, all sweet and innocent, and then she's, like, this naughty chick that, you know, wouldn't mind getting fucked every few nights, if you know what I mean. And that's cool, like, if that's what she wants, that's what she wants, but she can be a little bit of a cop tease, too. She flirts with guys, she 
you know, I, yeah, I'm not going to touch that subject. I'm not going to touch that subject just in case I get in trouble again. You'll get yourself in trouble again, Andre. Careful what you say. Fuck you. I'll say, I'll, I'll say it how exactly it is. She's, she, she does not know what she wants in life, but the problem with her is that, you know, take away her looks, just take away all her looks, then what do you leave? People may say, oh, but she's a nice girl, yeah, but I, that, I thought she was a nice girl too, until we started talking, and then it started to get really naughty very quickly, and I was just like, whoa, that's not what I expected, but... At the end of the day, that's another one that won't give me a chance. And I'm like, okay, that's cool. That's cool. Next. You know? And I waste my time with people that won't give me a chance. I, you know, I'll say it like it is. And the one thing I hate is these people that cock tease. Fucking cock teasers, man. <laughs> I hate them. It's like, you're playing with guys' emotions and feelings and you're playing with their brain. That's not nice. We should be in a world right now where straight out you just say what you want in someone. If you want to fucking kiss them, you just fucking say, I want to fucking kiss you. I want to slap that ass. I want to pound that pussy. You know what I'm saying? I know there's a single mother that I know that very attractive she can be a little crazy sometimes and should tell you that should should tell you that and i've known her for a while and i was lucky to have a really good kiss from her one time amazing hugger amazing but she's no different than me she's just a female version of me except for i don't smoke marijuana, but I look at her and go, and see her in current relationship, and I go, you know you can do a lot better than that, like, the, I, I say, I said to her, why have that, when you can have this, someone that is attractive, someone that is very good looking, someone that can kiss you the way you want to be kissed, the way you want to be hugged, the way you want to be touched. Not someone that's always going to abuse you and have a go at you. Yeah. I'm just being very careful because people will be like, hang on, is he talking about me? He must be talking about me. Because apparently every vid that I make, apparently I'm talking about someone. Except for the girl from Bigo, she's just she's, she's fucking hot. <laughs> it's just, what am I going to say on that subject? She's just fucking hot. But, yeah, I, 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 I can see a possibility of being friends. But I wouldn't mind hearing her say, hey, I reckon uh, I could kiss you, Andre. I reckon I could smack your ass and call you a bitch. I'd like that, baby. I'd like that. <laughs> but at the end of the day... People should love us for us, not because of what we have. If we can share more love and kindness in this world, this place would be a better place. But if you love someone, you tell them today, whether it's your kids, your partner, your friends, you tell them you love them. And you tell them how great they are. Make their day. Give them a compliment. If you're one of my friends, if you love and care about me, you can say it. If you want to be with me, just say it. Let's not hold back in life. Let's open ourselves up to everybody. Because one day, someone might come into your life and you'll realize that that person you don't want to ever leave. So if I do mean something to you or you want me to be part of your life as a friend or a boyfriend or a girlfriend, whatever, you know, people are different these days, then just say it. Like I said, if it wasn't for the the girl and Beagle I've been chatting to the last few nights, I would think that there's no decent people left in this world. That's just being honest. The fact that 
that beautiful fucking human being was so nice to me. And yeah, beautiful inside now. Doesn't hide behind a mask like people do. Is open. I think that definitely I would pursue something there if I can. But, you know, it's up to her at the end of the day. Like, I can't make her like me. <laughs> I can't make anyone like me. But people have just got to like me for me. And, yeah, maybe maybe someday she might be like, fuck that guy from my lady. He's, he's a fucking great guy. He's good looking. He, he obviously likes me. I might give him a go. I'm saying that to everyone. If you want to give me a go, just give me a fucking go. It'd be better if you're not in a relationship. Because that makes things very awkward. Trust me, there's two situations at the moment where I'm like, oh, fuck, I've, I've hooked up with this person, they're in a relationship. Um, and then there's this other one. Yeah, I'm not... No. Not going to go into it. But, but ladies and gentlemen, I'm off. This will be on YouTube sometime today or tonight. Um, I've got to go do some housework. Um, I'm going to go on Bigo now and do my hours on that. I've got one hour to do. Um... But yeah, if you need anything, don't 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 be afraid to message me. And let's just hope that we can all find love and we can all have peace in our minds. Let the past be the past. Let it be buried and done. Let's build a new foundation and make it stronger for the future.